ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be open unto you welcome back to well felt ministries dr angela here i'm so excited to have you here welcome to the family if you're new welcome back if you're returning please like share and subscribe so that you get all of what god has for you god bless you family Welcome around the globe, wherever you're from. I would love for you to put it in the comment section below. I love you with the love of Christ. Jesus loves you. And the word for today is good news is your portion. We've been on this 30-day journey, and we are on the third day of 30 days of miracles and God's favor upon your life. And it's God's favor that's going to bring the promotion. It's God's favor that's going to elevate <clears throat> you in this season. This is for somebody today that you don't know why you had to go through what you went through. You don't know why you had to cry the tears that you have to cry. But my God, <clears throat> Jesus says, I catch every tear in a bottle. None of your tears have been wasted. You shall receive good news and good news is your portion today. And understand this, that God says this. He says this in Isaiah 61, 7, it says, For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them. And so Matthew 7, 7 is talking about ask God, right? It shall be giving, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. And I talked about this yesterday to write those dates down. Um, July 7th and July 11th that something big is going to happen for you on those days so uh, write it down right meditate on the word of the Lord meditate on Matthew 7 7 where it says ask and Matthew 7 11 where it talks about God giving good gifts to his children so understand you are about to receive a double portion for the pain and suffering that you've gone through. You're about to receive overflow and abundance. You're about to receive double for every tear that you've cried. And God is saying fame for your shame. And many of you, people are talking about you right now where your feet has not even entered into the room and your name is in their mouth for good news, for doors of opportunities, for kingdom connections, right? God is connecting you to some people who are wealthy. God is connecting you to some people who are high up. Amen. Hallelujah. And so this is your season to go all in. It's not your season to look back, but it's time to go forward. The good news is double is your portion. Good news is your portion. Isaiah 60, 22, it says, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time and this is your due season this is your time to receive everything that god has promised you this is the moment that you shall receive your inheritance i talked about this july shall be a firecracker month for you and this is the year of the lord's favor so god's favor is upon you to complete whatever project that god has told you to do god's favor is upon you to complete it his he will be your strength my god this is for somebody or maybe you've been struggling to get it done you've been struggling to make it come to pass but God says I've already gone before you I will meet you where you are and I don't care what your situation is God says I will meet you right where you are I've I've already gone before you that thing is already done in the spiritual and it's yet to manifest in the physical for you and so God has already gone before you he's meeting you where you are he's bringing it to pass in your life your dreams your visions your goals everything that you prayed for shall come to pass in this season and understand you will testify of what God has done for you and your families and I'm praying for each and every one of you you're prayer requests, your your testimonies have been flooding the emails, and people have been getting money, people have been getting healed, people have been getting jobs, people have been getting visas. I met a lady the other day who talked about she met her God-ordained husband. So understand that God is bringing spouses together for the kingdom of God, for kingdom purposes. Um, and so understand that this is a time to receive your joy, your everlasting joy. You've cried tears of pain far too long. And God said, no more can the enemy have you. This is your season and this is your time to cry tears of joy. 
And so write down your vision, make it plain, make it clear. God is favoring those and God is giving you the strength to complete it and he will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. I would encourage you to sow a seed of faith into this word. It will be in the description box below. I love you. I want to thank all of you who have sown seeds into the ministry, who is praying, who is pouring, who is liking, who is sharing, who is subscribing. However you have sown into the ministry, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you with the love of Christ. Jesus loves you. And remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. I cannot wait to hear your good news. God bless you, family.